I will show you how to train your custom styles in a very quick, low cost and straightforward process. This workflow will allow you to create unique images customized to your style, which could be a character, object, or even an architectural style. In this case, I'm showing an aerial view of an iconic organic white form building. You can then use these in Comfy UI to create many variations of the style in different contexts for use lighting settings and building typologies. We all know that training locally has its benefits, but without a powerful GPU, you'll be waiting a very, very long time. This is where there's a cost-friendly option to train using a cloud service. Here I'm using Replicate, which allows you to run all the popular AI models from image to video generation and other large language models. The pricing is based on what GPU is used and for how long. So here the massive NVIDIA A100 GPU, which is an 80 gigabyte GPU, costs around $5 an hour. We will be training a LoRa based on a high quality flux model, which you can see here uses the H100 GPU, which is $0.001525 per second. That equates to $2.7 for 30 minute training of a LoRa. LoRa, by the way, is a low rank adaptation, which basically lets you tweak the original AI model to focus on certain aspects of the generation, such as creating your own style. When you select this Flux Dev Law Trainer page, you could use Python or an API to run this training from an external application. Of course, much simpler to do it all in here in the form. So select Create a new model, give it a name that is easy to recognize. I will keep this public for now, but that can always be changed to be private later on. Now for the important part of the input images. Here it states that you need to upload a zip file of at least 10 images. And if you include captions, you need one text file per image. Now, if you don't want to include captions, it can automatically use an LLM to do it for you. I just check in this box down here. You just need to pick a trigger word to activate your training. This needs to be letters that don't resemble any words. So it doesn't confuse the AI model, a typical word. So here I'll use FFLLX, which has no meaning. And optionally, you can have a prefix, which helps generate your style. For example, my trigger was FFLLX. You could write a photo of FFLLX architectural style. For better results, I do recommend to take the time to curate and label your images. Here I've started with 20 images and each matched to a text file with the caption. You can see here I used the trigger word and the prefix and then described the image in great detail, including the architectural style, of course, context, scenes, and so on. I'm trying to generate an iconic architectural style with these wide curvaceous buildings from aerial views. So I've kept that style, but vary the typology, context, and weather conditions so that when this is triggered, this could work in a variety of scenarios. This all needs to be zipped into one folder and it can be dragged and dropped into here. Next, for the training steps, it recommends 500 to 4000. It's usually good to start at 1000 and then move up to 2000, depending on the results. The lower rank of 16 always works well for a default. Here you can connect to a Hugging Face account, but your trained lower model will be uploaded and when finished. This is optional, but it's a useful step. So to do this, you need to make a Hugging Face account and then make a new model repository. You need to copy this repo name and paste it across here. Next is an access token. You can generate this from going to the profile icon and at the bottom find access tokens. Click create new token, check all the permissions. Maybe you need the repository rights, but you can check the others to be on the safe side and just give it a name. When you create the token, don't share this with anyone. Just copy it and paste it over here. Further down, there are options to connect to weights and biases account, which helps you fine tune models after creation, but it is very advanced and not necessary. So you can leave that out. And then finally, you can open up the advanced settings. For starting up, you can keep these as default. And then as you progress, you can read more about these standard settings. 
With that, you can start your training. I just need to edit the model name as uppercase is not permitted. And now I can run it. You see the progress update and you just simply need to wait. After 12 minutes, you can see that a thousand step model with 20 images trained incredibly quickly. If I go to my billing, you can see that cost a little over $1. From here, you can download the weights to be used directly in your application, or you can go over to your Hugging Face account and under models, find that newly trained Lua. Go to file and version, and you can download the safe tensors file here as well. It is only 172 megabytes, which is incredibly small for an AI model. Now you want to test out your new creation. One quick way is to do it here in Replicate. If you go back and press one trade model, which will send your newly trade model to a Flux image generation page, where everything already loaded in and even showing your trigger web. So I'll type a photo of FFLLX architecture form and then write a nice detailed description. I will change the aspect ratio and tweak a few of the parameters such as the quality and guidance scale and generate this test. Great, we can see that this is an aerial image of an iconic shiny white organic form, just like our reference images. Now for some more control, I will generate this over in ComfUI. I recommend that you rename the downloaded safe tensor file to something recognizable. Here I'll put fluid form. This then needs to be cut and paste in your Compi UI directory on the models and lower folder. If you don't have Compi UI installed or don't know how to use a lower workflow, then you can take a look at my previous videos on how to do this. The workflow is also provided in the links below. You can drag and drop that in. As an overview, I have a Flux dev model loaded in and it is connected to a power lower. This is where you can combine and select any trained lower you have. You may just need to hit the refresh button here at the top. Now from the drop down, you can find the lower that you made. Now I'll add in my trigger words and phrases as before. If you have forgotten the trigger word already, you can actually click on the lower here and press show info. I'll just paste in a large description of the scene of a contemporary culture center with some courtyards. When this is generated, you can see the iconic style once again has been generated in the context I asked for. Even the river to the side has been added in, though so it has brought in these courtyards to my form. If I drag over my original training set, you can see that it adheres to the style quite closely. And all this was done in 12 minutes for just $1. From here, you can keep improving the data sets, increasing steps, and try out some of the advanced settings with a bit of trial and error. But even with this first test, it has had some great results. I hope you try this out for yourselves and see what you can customize.